This is the National Library of Ireland here in Kildare Street. It dates the building itself to 1890, but the National Cultural Institution that is the National Library of Ireland actually goes all the way back to 1877. An extraordinary collection of over 12 million items, but this is ultimately our headquarters here, designed by Thomas Newnham Dean and Thomas Manley Dean, and they won a competition uh, to design the National Library of Ireland and it was to furnish the very best of materials from Ireland and indeed um, around Europe at the time. Um, and it had very much a literary theme, particularly when you look at the stained glass windows. And the stained glass windows are basically all of these incredible European and indeed one Irish writer and philosopher stands through the ages. The mosaics are by Ludwig Oppenheimer of Manchester and the mosaics are renowned here because they incorporate so many features, particularly at the theme of the owl. And the owl obviously is a symbol of wisdom. And right in the centre of the front hall, you have the Latin for wisdom, which is sapientia. Now in the uh, former director's office, but what's really remarkable about this room is the fireplace in this incredible oak that was carved by Carlo Cambi of Siena. And you can see that it's very much a strange thing to expect to find in a national library, as in a fireplace. Every single night, the librarian on duty with the housekeeper would have to come and dampen down all of the fireplaces. I suppose the most remarkable aspect uh, to this staircase would be the stained glass that you're approaching basically as you ascend the steps and it was um, commissioned again by the deans, the architects of um, basically Wallace and Jones of Birmingham who were a very important stained glass manufactory uh, particularly in the late 19th century across these islands. We're here at the plaque in honour of Thomas William Lister um, who was the National Librarian um, in the 1890s, around the time that James Joyce would have been a student. And episode 9 of Ulysses features Thomas William Lister, who's referred to as the Quaker Librarian Director of the National Library of Ireland. And there's an iconic scene in that episode where they uh, exit the reading room, go out the main door of the National Library and go down the steps of the National Library um, in, onto the streets of Dublin for the following episode. The reading room is uh, nothing short of iconic. It's one of the finest interior spaces in the entire city of Dublin. The first thing that strikes you as you enter um, would be its incredible D shape. Um, of, of a particular form when you look up particularly at the ceiling and the plaster work which was carried out by Harrisons of Dublin. The woodwork primarily over the screen and indeed the door frames is by William Milligan of Dublin um, and the original desks that are now very individual were only put in in the 1920s and 30s whereas the original desks in the National Library were all conjoined and, and quite long. So we're in the art room here that has just been newly renovated and will be open to the public very shortly. Um, it's really going to be our visual collections reading resource room and also it will serve as a kind of a corporate space as well for certain events um, pertaining to the National Library. Um, it's an incredible collection of rare printed books uh, or antiquarian books as they're sometimes referred to as. This particular set of books uh, vary hugely in terms of discipline but are very international. So we have an awful lot of books in this room that actually aren't um, of Irish subject matter. So we have, let's say, Gould's Books of Australia, um, we have various different uh, books on de the decorative arts of Japan, for instance, and we have a lot of German, Italian and Spanish fine art publications as well. Mainly because, up until the early 1980s, next door was the Metropolitan School of Art, later the National College of Art and Design, before it moved across to Thomas Street.